Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of IoT and let me show you what are the questions and the topics which are to be covered from the exam point of view. So I am not covering all the topics and I will not be explaining all the things. These are the things which you need to cover to uh, get the maximum marks from the exam. The previous questions have been asked from uh, mostly these topics. So rest of the topics you can skip or focus more on this one. Okay, I will be telling the key points. So before starting make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. And um, see what is the uh, sensors and the actuators okay that's the first uh, topic we have sensors means what by the name itself you can understand it senses something okay if something is there and it senses it that is called as a sensor okay that is only what we have to write a sensor does exactly as its name suggests it senses okay it just measures something okay and there are can be different types of sensors that's also an important question from exam point of view active passive invasive non-invasive contact or no contact and so on okay and after that, uh, these are the different types of sens uh, sensors you can go through it. Like that, actuators also we have. Once it senses something, if it needs to perform some physical action on that, then we'll be uh, using the actuators. What does that mean is, if it is triggering something. For example, we have the mechanical actuators, levers, screw jack and hand crack, okay. So levers, it will um, lift the car, I guess, uh, or the screw jack, something lifts, lifts the car, right. It will check if it, the car is to be lifted, the sensor will check. And if it is to be listed, the action will be performed by the actuator, okay. Actuator action, like that you can remember. And different types are given, you can go through it. So that was about the first topic uh, sensors versus actuators next is the sinus which is sensor network okay so what are the topics in between i'll be going through very briefly smart objects is nothing but it will be having both the sensors and the actuators along with three more things what are the three more things if they ask the diagram you have to uh, make this diagram okay observe carefully here what all we have sensor is here that can measure the physical data actuator is here which can which is capable of performing a task communicating device which communicates from the actuator to the sensor and uh, back forth then we have a tiny low cost computer and finally we have a power source okay this is the architecture we have to make okay so this architecture is nothing but the sensor network okay and the um, uh, trends in iot is also given here you can go through it next we have the sensor network okay? this is the important question um, what is sensor network the whole network of sensors is called as sensor network okay so don't uh, pay more attention to the definition get to know what is the actual point in that okay and advantage is the advantage is given here and one of the example is the wireless sensor networks here all the things are connected wirelessly and uh, the same things which i have discussed in the previous diagram those same things are present here okay just in a more uh, uh, specific and technical manner okay and some of the limitations also given here this is also asked in the exam so make sure you know that very well and then we have connecting smart objects here three things you have to uh, remember range frequency and so i think that's the next question yeah connecting smart objects uh, range frequency and power okay this is the another important question what is uh, the connecting uh, smart uh, objects and what are the different criteria in that the first is the range for the long ranges we use 2g 3g 4g 5g for the medium ranges we use these uh, things and uh, the short range we'll be using bluetooth most important among one is this one 802.15.4 okay i triple e 802.15.4 this is the last topic which is a super important question for example to you. okay let's have a look at what is the ranges in different ranges we'll be using different protocols which work on that okay and frequency band means which frequency bands is applicable for which range okay the setting of that so the middle ranges which is present here these ranges are from median range okay for that we'll be using these kind of um, uh, protocols then we have power consumption it can be either connected to the source power source see it can be connected to the power source or it can be battery battery powered okay powered nodes or battery powered nodes okay, it can either have a battery or it can have a uh, regular um, supply okay like for example uh, you can connect it with a wire okay that sensor or the actuator that is about the power consumption next we have the topologies it's not that important but you can have the different type of uh, topologies like star topology mesh and peer to peer having a brief information about this is also helpful for you okay then we have constraint devices constraint is one thing another one is open devices constraint means it is just for a specific purpose and for a limited area okay that is called as constraint or you can call it as a restricted as well okay for constraint uh, devices you'll be having different kinds of protocols okay that protocol is mainly the, the protocols which are ieee 802.15 uh, these protocols okay we'll be discussing this in the um, depth in the upcoming topic that's the last topic so uh, before that you will uh, you need to know about the three classes class zero is of uh, severely constrained means very much constrained and the data will be uh, between 10 kb and 100 kb class one will be a bit more 
and the class 2 will be the um, most like it can contain more than 50 kb and other restrictions also be uh, will also be there here you can go through it next we have the constraint nodes and uh, for their node networks we'll be using these protocols typical examples i triple eight zero two point one five point four and uh, g here and uh, 1901.2a and um, LPWA also these are the different access technologies which work under constrained node networks okay so uh, it is also known as LLNs they can ask me in the next time what is LLNs low power and lossy networks this is also the other name of constrained networks okay it is low powered and it is lossy network okay so um, here about the data rate and the throughput is given 100 bps is the data rate here latency and determination overhead and payload the specific information is given you can go through it and then we have the uh, last topic which is iot access technologies okay let's have a look at that what is the key point you need to remember in that so there are mainly four iot access technologies the most important one is 802.154 okay the first one okay so in here you have to remember five things which you have to explain in depth okay so um, whatever the uh, uh, whichever the version they ask like uh, once they have asked uh, this one and one time they have uh, means many times they have asked this one okay these three they haven't asked any time okay so i guess you can skip this one and focus most on this one and have a just brief information about what is this one okay so uh, five things you have to mention here standardization and alliances like uh, uh, let's take this example i triple eight zero two point one five point four this technology which standardization is there which alliance is there means which are the standard bodies that maintain the protocols who is maintaining 802.15.4 that you have to mention here next what is the physical layer for that is it wired or wireless what is the mac layer means uh, what is the uh, connection between the physical layer and data control layer what is the topology using that is it star is it mesh is it uh, peer to peer what is the security level in that what are the other competitive technologies that it can have so mainly in the exam you have to write about the standardization and uh, alliances physical mac layer and the topology okay these two things i guess you can skip for this okay so what are the now the question is how can we know what are the standardization physical mac layer for each of these this information is given here there is no point explaining this information because it's just facts okay and facts cannot be explained it's just what it is okay i have to remember those things so uh, about uh, brief information is given here about what is 802.15.4 uh, uh, this you have to go through it and like uh, see it's very simple low cost and low data get the key points here it's uh, addition to being low cost it offers a reasonable battery life and um, several network communication stacks including uh, deterministic ones uh, use this technology and wherever it is used like home automotive industrial and interactive toys again okay. it's very simple just go through it and note down the key points again okay. and after that the first thing standardization and alliances these two are the task group for defines the low rate data phy and mac layer okay so this is the body which is defined here okay and for the physical layer whether it is wired or not you have to read this and find out okay mac layer is also given here about the topology also given here it can be built as star peer to peer or mesh topologies and this diagram is also given here which is the security level and what are the other competitive uh, technologies get one one point from each of these that will fill the uh, like purpose of answering the answer script okay uh, if you get one one point from each of these that is also more than enough okay but focus on the first three which i told you and the same goes for all of these i triple eight zero two point one five point four four g and uh, this one this was the second one right see here i showed you um, this many right for all of these the same thing happens let's quickly go through them for eight zero two point uh, the second one this is the third one one and zero uh, one point two a okay because this is too technical uh, explaining the, that is no point you have to go through it and get in mind whatever you can get in mind okay and this is the last one once they have asked this one also the same things are present here which is the alliance physical layer mac layer and topology so um, to be honest i, I also did not get uh, everything what is present here just remember a few uh, things like remember our uh, key points like lpw ap and write everything in your own words okay there is firstly no time and second it is too technical okay it's um, very very highly impossible or it is very hard to actually get to know these things without spending uh, very much time okay so that's what i'm telling uh, get to know few key points don't di dive deep too much into it it's very technical this is still module 2 module 3 is more technical than this okay so at that time you will come to the conclusion that you have to write in your own words okay so the last one which is nb iot and other lt variation questions have not been asked but here three things are there lt cat 0 
LT, CAT, M, and NBIOT, some information is given. Okay. So basically, what are the to topics I mentioned in the notepad? Those things you have to cover it in depth. That, those, are, uh, those are the only questions which are asked mostly in the exams. So make sure you know that very well. And that's all for this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.